Hello boys, today we're gonna talk about Will of the Wind grinding in the end game of Black Desert Online. I figured out this works really really well because Will of the Wind does a lot of consistent damage. I saw some Koreans do it, I was wondering why they got so good results. I tried it myself and I now know why it is so good. It has very high consistent damage. I have two pictures over here that I want to talk with you guys about. See, normally, instead of grinding with the, the old way of, of grinding with the Ranger, right? Which is something like a Blasting Gust, Will of the Wind to debuff, Bypassing the Wind to buff yourself, Nature's Trample to debuff, Regeneration to buff yourself, and then come out with the, with the combo of the Tearing Arrow and Penetrating Wind and Shotgun, which is this, uh, you know, more normal way of grinding. That's what normally Succession Rangers do. This is hella bucked at, at the moment. Tearing Arrow is giving us this Please Try Again in a moment. And it is so frustrating today to grind with because it happens more and more frequently. Especially if you go to a place like Hexter where I enjoy a lot to grind. But this way is is a no-go for me. I don't do this anymore. Fuck this grinding. I don't I don't like it. It is too bucky. It's too messy. Instead, I'm using the Will of the Wind. This is the this is what I do with Will of the Wind. Basically, I prime blasting gust up to a target. I use bypassing the the wind for crit chance, and then I use nature's trample to buff my, to debuff the enemy, and then I use the regeneration to buff myself, and then I spam will of the wind. I hold it down until I can basically start over again in this combo here. If my buffs are gonna go away, then I basically just start over and do it once more. Additional pros to this kind of grinding is that you have a high crit chance and there is some abilities down here that benefits a lot from that. Your race win and your prime descending current, they are really, really good if you give them more crit chance. Down here, you see all the way of getting crit chance in the game at the moment. You have the uh, the charging win add-on that is 30%, bypassing the win that is 10%, and then the death blow passive that gives you a 10% critical hit rate and then 4% additional from the stones itself. So that is a total of 14%. And then you have the crit chance in the game. And all this combined is 72% on an ability that normally cannot crit. And that is why it is so good. Prime Blasting Ghost, Bypassing the Wind, Nature Tremble or Regeneration. Which one of these two? Doesn't matter which one you use first. It doesn't. It's whatever. But basically you go into a target. You go up to it and then you go to the left and then you, you right click to proc the bypassing the wind for the crit damage. Then you use your two awakening abilities and then you just hold shift Q. If you want to go behind them, you just go behind them. It doesn't matter. You can do it all. There's only one thing I recommend you to do once you have once you're grinding like this. And it is to use the bracing spirit perfume elixir or a perfume elixir. It doesn't have to be bracing spirit because you need the mana recovery. Aside from that, in my add-ons in here, basically what I do is that I have the Charging Wind that gives me monster damage and critical hit rate because this is the most important one. And then I have the Nature's Trample with critical hit rate and back attack damage. Critical hit rate on this one in case I don't get to do the Charging Wind for some reason. I need that critical hit rate. It is crucial when you're grinding like this. Then the primary generation for the attack speed and critical hit damage. Again, it is just damage dealing add-ons. Then I have a tearing arrow here, it doesn't really matter. This is more for duels. I still use tearing arrow if I have to duel for the spot and then attack speed and minus DP is very important. Blasting gust is also kind of whatever. You can actually swap this out if you want to. I don't think it is super important to have blasting gust add-ons. Yeah, that's, that's basically it. There is not too much to it and I am out of mana potions. I see that. But you know, basically all you gotta do is hold will of the wind, will of the wind, will of the wind. And then you just go around the target again and again and again. And once these buffs here are starting to, to disappear, just use them again and rinse, repeat. But uh, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you got any questions, you can come and ask me. Come and follow me on Twitch. I stream there a lot. I grind everywhere in the game. So uh, thank you. Take care. The elites, they are chunking you pretty heavily, right? I could literally just stand AFK right, AFK right here. Holding two bots and stuff. Right now I have increased damage, but, you know, I could technically grind like this. Just go down and get a drink if I could get my key stuck. <laughs> right?